Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the golf port number FR16, five and three quarter metal stud anchor. Now, what is this anchor? Well, this is specifically intended to be a metal stud anchor, uh, meaning that this will get for a five and three quarter frame now. Uh, they are sized based on the frame size. This will get placed into the throat of the frame with this going towards the back side or the inside of the frame. And this flange out here is what you're going to um, bring your metal stud construction up to. This is not a wood stud anchor, it's a metal stud anchor. So as you have your welded frame, it's in place, it's shot down to the floor. You start doing your framing and bringing your studs up to it. You're literally going to bring a stud, a double stud because it's proper wall construction as around doors um, and you'll run your zip screws mini screws they're called in the drywall world um, through the back of your metal stud into this flange okay now this is specifically intended for a five and three quarter frame because of the size of the unit you can see it's basically six inch but as the, the, what you're uh, what you're in, supposed to do is put this into the frame and then snap it into place and these angles are going to relieve themselves under tension and fit quite tightly into the frame to the point where you really need to basically tap them into place or out of place. What we would always do, um, <clears throat> because this is obviously going into a welded frame situation, almost always, but not always, you might want a knockdown frame. Um, <clears throat> some people might order a knockdown frame because it's less costly um, in terms of the cost of the frame itself. Uh, you might have an unusual circumstance on one wall where you've got like maybe a masonry wall that you're going to bolt down to the wall. The other leg you're going to use uh, uh, metal stud anchors. So you might want the frame knocked down for some unusual application or on one side you need to wrap the wall. But generally, this is going to go into a welded frame that is put in place, shot down to the floor, framing rod up to it, zip tie through the back. What we would do <clears throat> is weld these anchors to the frame, not only to keep them in place, but to also serve as the shop, not forgetting to ship anchors, which is not unusual. Uh, also, to prevent them from getting lost in transit to the job site or getting lost on the job site. I do not tolerate that phone call from the site that says you forgot to ship me anchors and I'm 30 miles away and it'll take an hour to get here with traffic or 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 it's impossible to drive to. So the fact of the matter is uh, we like to weld them in. Obviously these are going to the job site um, and probably won't be welded in but welding them in also obviously will serve as making a more integrated unit from the frame itself to the anchor to the wall construction as well. You're going to have these notched out areas because that's where the drywall is going to come in. You're going to have to have that drywall shoot in behind the frame. Certainly if it's a fire rated wall, that drywall must project into the frame a certain dimension. I forget what it is. I'm not saying it's half inch, but it is a dimension that is required. Um, you could, I suppose you could use this as a floor anchor as well. You'd probably want to cut this portion off, get this into the base, and then tack weld it. You could use these holes to you know, anchor the frame down to the floor. I suppose you could. It's not usual to use it for that sort of application at all. I don't see why you couldn't. I, I don't see you being able to use it for any other application except maybe for a existing wall if you were to drill, you know, half inch holes through here and here. But you would just use a multi-purpose anchor if you needed to be more flexible. Now it's not a wood stud anchor I had said earlier and it's because you're not going to take double, you know, two by four wood studs and drill all the way through three inches of wood just to hit this flange. They make a type with a bend over ear that would wrap over the sides of the wood stud that you would screw in through the side then the drywall would come up into the throat of the frame. So this is literally a, a metal stud anchor. Uh, you'll need to buy them for the, for the depth of the frame. If you have an unusual circumstance where you've got an odd jam depth, let's say nine and a half okay you know the factory didn't ship you the proper anchors you could certainly take this leg cut it off take your other anchor cut it to the size that you need simply splice them together tack weld them together and move on with your day come up with two of them that are the right overall size for whatever jam depth 
cutting them down, yeah, it's going to take more work. You've got to cut this material, you've got to cut this, you've got to fold this back, etc. And this material is made of steel, and it does have a corrosion-resistant galvanized wipe coat application to it. And they're not, they don't cut just quickly. They're, it's substantial steel. This anchor weighs a quarter pound. One of these weighs a quarter pound. So do be mindful of that. Now, the name Gulfport is synonymous with uh, hollow metal accessory hardware, specifically anchors and the items that go along with it. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Gulfport products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog where you can review all of the accessory items. And it's very typical for Gulfport to supply the major name companies in the hollow metal industry with their piece parts such as anchors. These guys, in many instances, don't manufacture their commodity anchors. It's less expensive, I guess, to purchase them from someone like Gulfport who does nothing but that sort of work. There's also a link to their hardware catalog that's there, and in that catalog you'll find security hardware like door reinforcing plates, you'll find lock sets, you'll find trim and auxiliary hardware, and you'll find vision frames as well. If you have any questions on the Gulfport, their part number F, R116 five and three quarter metal stud anchor or any other Gulfport product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.